you want to be a good engineer and, and you want to be sought after by several engineering companies, people who want you and want your abilities to work for them in their company. Are you looking for a chance to grow in your career and, and to become an engineer that's uh, highly respected in your community and in the profession of engineering? Are you looking to be better at being an engineer, trying to build your skills even more so, but you're kind of wondering what areas of uh, expertise you should develop as a project engineer? Well, in this video, we're going to discuss just how to increase your skills, your experiences, and your strengths in order to become a more sought after project engineer in your industry, in your local area. And we're going to do that right now. In order to understand what you need to do in order to make yourself more attractive as a project engineer to companies, first you have to understand what a project engineer actually does. And no matter what the industry is, basically all project engineers do pretty much the same job. That is, they are the technical expert of the team. They are the ones who make sure that technically the project or the designs are all done to the technical standards. They are checking and verifying everything on the design or in the construction of the project. Now, while engineers' roles, their uh, duties and their responsibilities may be a little bit different from one industry to the next, basically all project engineers uh, follow the basic tasks. First, they are preparing, scheduling, monitoring, and watching over all the projects that they're assigned to. In other words, they are involved with the actual schedules of the project, making sure that the teams that they are responsible to are following the schedule and that they're making changes as needed in order to stay on schedule. Secondly, they're also involved with communicating with their clients, whether it's their clients is another uh, department within the company or even actually third-party clients or people outside of the, uh, the company, such as a government entity, they are the ones who are communicating with them, letting them know what's going on with their project on a daily basis. They are communicating to the clients and interpreting what the client needs and wants in order for the project to be completed. In addition, project engineers are also involved with the quality control of the project. They're making sure that all the inner parts of the project are being moved along at the technical level and that they're done correctly, but they're also checking on the personnel, making sure they have the available time in order to do the assigned tasks to them and that they have the resources available to them to uh, complete the task. In addition, they're also involved with the budgeting for each of the tasks that their team is involved with, making sure they, the team members do not go over budget. On, on completing those tasks. Another important area that most Paul project engineers are involved with is that they're reporting on the progress schedule status as it moves through the timelines, reporting that up to their project managers so that the project managers can put, complete their reports. Project engineers are also involved with making sure that the project is in compliance with all the standards and codes that are affecting that project. The project engineer is also communicating not only with their project managers, but also with their team, letting everyone know where they're at with the project, whether they're ahead of schedule, behind schedule, or right on schedule. Also on the budget, making sure that they're checking the budget and that they're staying in line with the budget. Not going over budget, but trying to stay under budget as they work through the project. And lastly, the project engineer is involved with reviewing the engineering deliverables and making changes as necessary to make sure that the end product is what the client was asking for. Now, there are some uh, skills that you do need in order to be a good project engineer. One of those is that you need to have the proper education. And almost all project engineering requires that you at least have a bachelor's degree in engineering. And in some cases, they may even require a master's degree. Some engineers move on after they get their bachelor's or their bachelor's degree and go ahead and get a management degree, an engineering management degree, 
in the civil engineering profession, before you can ever become a project engineer, uh, they would want you to have a professional engineering license, a PE license is quite often referred to. In order to get the PE license, after you have your four-year degree, you would have to work another four years under a, a professional engineer and then take the professional in, engineering exam. If you pass the exam and the professional engineer that supervised you for four years uh, writes a letter stating that you meet certain criteria to become a professional engineer, you can then get your license in the state that you are doing business in as a professional engineer. Now, some industries and in engineering does not require that you have to have a professional engineering degree. But, like I said, in civil engineering, almost always they do require a professional engineering degree. Now, you want to know how, you, how much experience you need to have in order to become a project engineer? Well, the first experience that you're going to need is, is to obtain that bachelor's degree, the four-year degree from college in engineering. Once you have that degree, then the next thing, you'll have to go and work at a very low level in an engineering company, starting off on a survey crew or working on a CAD uh, machine or something of that level, and then work your way up to the engineering level under a professional engineer. And usually that will take up to four years of work before you can ever qualify to take the professional engineer exam which means you have to pass the professional engineer exam. Once you pass that and receive a letter from your professional engineer that has, served, uh, that has supervised you over the past four years, you then qualify to obtain your professional engineering license. At that time, then you become a project engineer. So as you can see, it's at least eight years and sometimes more uh, before you can ever become a project engineer. After many years working as a project engineer, uh, you then would be promoted up to project manager where you supervise over several project engineers and their teams. So there you have it. If you want to be a good project engineer that companies are seeking and, and want today, well, then you're going to have to get your PE license and you're going to have to have some experience behind you. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes many years of work and experience. Uh, before you qualify to take that PE exam. But once you do, uh, you then are qualified to become a project engineer with a lot of responsibilities, which means you're going to have to make sure that that team that you're uh, project engineering for is designing correctly. They're in compliance with the various standards of the local community and the government entities that are uh, involved with that project. And then you also have to make sure that you're also watching budgets, you're also watching schedules, and of course you're watching your team itself making sure they're capable of handling the type of work that's coming to you. This is what companies are seeking, project engineers that can design but also can manage a design team. So if you want to see more videos on project engineering and project management, please go down below and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be notified when we bring up new videos onto this channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell over to the side. It's the notification bell. Every time we upload, it pings and lets you know that a new video is on. Each video is only about 5-10 minutes long, but they are always reminders about project engineering and project management, and they're always something to learn. Also, you'll notice way over here another video that's coming up that we recommend that you watch next. Until the next time, keep on growing as a project engineer, keep on growing as a project manager, and strengthen those uh, strengths that you have, and we'll see you on the next video.